everybody. I hope everybody is having a lovely day. So it's Easter break and it's Easter week so I thought Easter is kind of a time where you spend some time with your family and obviously we have a lot of free time now and something that I love to do in my free time and I've loved to ever since I was really small is listen to or read a story. So today's story is one that has been in my family for a really really long time and it's called Dogger. So this book is by a lady called Shirley Hughes and it's been in my family for a really long time so even in the inside you can see it says this book belongs to Claire who's my sister. So I'll only be able to show you the pictures because the writing is going to be back to front. So once there was a soft brown toy called Dogger. One of his ears pointed upwards and the other pointed over. His fur was worn in places because he was quite old and he belonged to a boy called Dave. So. Dave was very fond of Dogger and he took him everywhere with him. Can you see? So here's Dave. He's taking him. Sometimes he gave him rides in his trolley. Sometimes he pulled him along on a lead made of string like a real dog. And when it was cold, he wrapped him up in a blanket to keep him nice and warm. Now and again, Dave's mum said that Dave or said that Dogger was getting much too dirty, and she showed Dave how to wash him in a bowl of soapy water. Then they hung him by the tail on the washing line to dry. So lovely pictures in this book, as you can see. I might turn on my light because I don't know if the lighting is very good. Is that any better? Okay. So here's lovely illustrations of this book. You can see his mom is hanging up Dogger on the line. And there's Dave looking at his mommy and he's taking him, he's taking him for um, a soapy bath in this picture. So let's see what's gonna happen next. So I'm just gonna read it maybe like this and then I'll show you the page. That's probably the easiest thing for me to do. Dave's baby brother, Joe, liked hard toys. He liked putting them into his mouth and biting on them because he was getting teeth. So that's what babies do. They put lots of things in their mouth to get used to all the different tastes and exploring things. So here's a little baby brother. He's putting all of the toys in his mouth. Oh, I don't think they'll taste very nice. Dave's big sister, Bella, took seven teddies to bed with her every night. She had to sleep right up against the wall to stop herself from falling out. But Dave liked only Dogger. So she has her seven teddies in her bed. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Dave just sleeps with his one teddy. One afternoon, Dave and Mum set out to collect Bella from school. Mum took Joe in his pram and Dave took Dogger. And next to the school gate where the mums waited was a playing field. Some men with ladders, ladders were putting up coloured flags and mummy said there was going to be a summer fair to get money to buy things for the school. Dave pushed Dogger up against the railings to show him what was going on. So look, here's Dave putting up his little, his little Dogger up to the railings to show them the lovely um, fair that's going on. And here's all the mummies and all the children lining up. Just then, the children started to come out of school. An ice cream van came round the corner playing a tune. Bella ran up with her satchel flying. Mummy, can we have an ice cream? Mum gave her, her the money for two cones and Joe didn't have a whole ice cream to himself because he was too dribbly. So look, here's the ice cream van, here's the mummy and here's Dave and his sister and his brother. And they're all waiting to get their lovely ice cream. On the way home, Dave walked by beside the push chair giving Joe licks of his ice cream. Joe kicked his feet about and shouted for more and more in between licks. So look, he's sharing, he's been very kind and sharing his ice cream with his baby brother because he doesn't want a full one because he'll have it all over his mouth and all over his clothes. At tea time, Dave was very quiet. In the bath, he was even quieter. At bath time, he said, I want Dodger, Dogger. But Dogger was nowhere to be found. Oh no, poor Dave is a bit sad. I think he left, I think he left Dogger behind. Mummy looked under the bed. She looked behind the cupboard. She searched in the kitchen, but she could not find Dogger. So look, she's searching all over the house and she still can't find Dogger for poor Dave. She looked under the stairs and Joe watched anxiously through the banisters. 
Sorry, Dave watched anxiously through the, ba the banisters and Joe watched through the bars of his cot. But there was no dogger. Bella joined in to look for dogger. She turned out her own toy box in case he was in there, but, there, but he wasn't. When Dad came home, he looked for Dogger too, and he searched in the shed and down the garden path with a torch. But Dogger was quite lost. Dave was very sad when he went to bed, and Bella kindly lent him one of her teddies to go to sleep. But it was not the same. Dogger kept... Dogger... It was not the same as Dogger. Dave kept waking up in the night and missing him. It's so locked. They're checking. Daddy's checking with his torch in the back garden. He's... The sister or brother are checking their, their toy boxes, but poor Dave can't sleep because he doesn't have his special, special teddy. Do any of you have a special teddy that you cannot sleep with? Because I know when I was smaller, I had a blankie and I couldn't sleep without my blankie. And if I had any other toy, it wouldn't work because it wasn't my special blankie that I had since I was a baby. So I think everybody has their own special little toys that they grew up with and they love to keep safe. So that's why Dave is so sad because his special dog toy is lost. The next day was Saturday and they all went to the school summer fair. The playing field was full of stalls and little shops. So look, this is all the lovely shops. And all the people queuing up to buy nice things. There was a fancy dress parade. So look, all these boys and girls are dressed up. One is dressed as a Native American. One is dressed, I don't know what that is, a robot maybe. One is dressed as like... Um, Mulan I think, one looks like a magician, one is a pirate, what else can you guys see, one is a fairy, one is a clown, they have lovely costumes haven't they, one is a little duck. Then there were sports races with an egg and spoon race, a wheelbarrow race and a daddy's race. So look the first one is the spoon race, so you have to put a, um, an egg on a spoon and walk as fast as you can to win without it falling off the spoon. Then this is called, what's this one? The wheelbarrow race. So you have to hold your friend's legs and then they have to crawl without falling. So this one is nearly falling. And then you have a daddy's race down here. Bella was very good at races and she won the three-legged race with her best friend Barbara. Wouldn't you like to go for a race, they asked Dave. But Dave wasn't feeling like racing. He was missing Dogger too much. So look, all the friends are doing the races together and they want to see if Dave is okay. But poor Dave is too sad. He doesn't want to do any races. Then another very exciting thing happened to Bella. She won her first prize at the raffle. She won this lovely teddy bear. It was a huge yellow teddy bear wearing a beautiful blue silky bow. And he was almost as big as Dave. Dave didn't like that teddy at all. And in that moment, he didn't like better Bella much either because she kept on winning things. All he wanted was dogger. Look. So he's a bit sad. He's walking off a bit sad. In his very, very, very sad mood. Poor Dave. I wonder will he ever find Dogger. Then he spotted oh, one lady at a toy stall was had one full of knitted ducks, cars and baby dolls and bonnets. And there at the very back of the stall behind a lot of other toys was... Oh, what's going to be? Let's see if I can see it. It was... Dogger! Look, he's hiding in here. Somebody must have found him. He was wearing a, a ticket saying 5p, so that's how much he cost. He was 5p, which is like 5 cent. There was a lot of other people walking around the stall, and Dave tried to explain to the lady that it was his dogger who had gotten lost and somehow been put on the stall by mistake. But she wasn't listening. She was too busy. He looked in his pocket. He had 3p, but that wasn't enough. He ran to find mummy and daddy to ask them to buy dogger back at once. Dave went everywhere in the crowd, but he couldn't see his mummy or daddy anywhere. Thought he was going to cry, and at last he found Bella by the cakes. When she heard about Dogger, she she and Dave ran back to the toy stall as fast as they could. He wants to get somebody to help him buy back his lovely toy. But something terrible had happened. Dogger had been bought by another little girl. She was already walking off with him, and Dave began to cry. Poor Dave. Bella ran after her and tried to explain that Dogger really belonged to Dave, and could they please buy him back? But the little girl said no. She said that she had bought Dogger with her own money and she wanted him and she held on to him really tight. So look, she's a bit grumpy now, this little girl. She doesn't want to give it because she's after buying the dog, the dog, Teddy. Dave cried and cried and the little girl started to cry too. But out of the corner of her eye, she seen Bella's Teddy that she won. She stopped crying and put out her hand to stroke his big, beautiful, silky bow. 
So I think, I think, can you guess what's going to happen next? They might do a swap, maybe. Then Bella did something really kind. She gave her teddy that she won to the girl. Would you swap this teddy for my brother's dog then, she said. And right away, the little girl stopped crying and she began to have a big smile. She held it onto Dogger, onto Dave, she held out Dogger to Dave and took the big teddy instead and went off with him in her arms. Then Dave smiled too. He hugged Dogger and he hugged Bella round the waist. Thank you so much, Bella, he said. So see how kind his sister was. She gave away her big toy that she won to get her, his brother, her brother's really special toy back. Wasn't that really kind thing to do? I think a lot of boys and girls in Ivy Lane would do that as well because they're really kind to their brothers and sisters. So she was being really, really nice to her brother to do that. That night, Dave had Dogger in bed beside him and Bella was practicing her somersaults. Shall you miss that big teddy, said Dave. No, said Bella. I didn't like him much. He was too big and his eyes were too staring. Anyway, if I had another teddy in my bed, there wouldn't be any room for me. She's right. Look, look at all her teddies. That big teddy would have taken up the whole bed. And then they both are fast asleep. Wasn't that a lovely story? So that was Dogger by Shirley Hughes. And it just goes to show how special and important your favourite teddy is. So I hope you all enjoyed that story. It's been a long time since I've read it, but I know it was one of my favourite stories. And like I said, it has my sister's name inside from when she was really small. So it's very, very special to me. So I hope you're having a lovely Easter break. You're being very helpful for your mommies and daddies and playing lots of games and lots of colouring and doing lots of baking and really fun things. And I hope to see you in the next video. And bye bye, guys.